Morning! Uh, it's quite dark. Maybe sit like this. Maybe you kind of see me. It's just gone past 8 on Wednesday morning. And there was somebody just walked past and looked at me really strangely. Um, but she's young, so she should know what I'm doing. Uh, yes, Wednesday morning. It's early payday today, which is awesome. We get our uh, wait a little bit earlier. For Christmas as a Christmas gift almost but then it has to stretch it all the way to the end of January which is like in six weeks away but uh, today I have a few things planned today it is Nina's last day of work today I am working not a normal day but once we finish and get home then we're going to the Christmas market in Belfast that's quite all those folks in uh, Berlin. That was a bit of a, a surprise, and a bit of an unfortunate happening uh, at Christmas market. Everybody just trying to celebrate Christmas and bring the atmosphere and stuff. And what a world! But that's not what we're here for. We're here to keep it chirpy and happy. Uh, go to the Christmas market in Belfast later on. So. You will hopefully see some interesting things there. I can't wait actually because I've been up in Boston to go for ages. It's its last full day here. It kind of dismantles tomorrow, being the 22nd, which is almost Christmas. But I am just leaving the house now to go to work. And I think I'm going to make a stop off at McDonald's because it's payday, not because I'm fat. McDonald's on payday is kind of a, tra a tradition in the morning, but I'll see you there. So we are back where we started today. I heard a bit mess. It's just gone 4 p.m. Just finished work. I'm now home. I have a few things to do before we head back out again. I have to transfer some files that I've been recording here and just charge my phone a little bit then go get the bus go to Christmas Park we were on a bus um, after waiting 40 minutes yeah we got to the bus stop about 5 and it is just gone 20 to 6 and the bus has just arrived so we are on it now heading to in towards the town which hopefully the traffic shouldn't be too bad because the majority of traffic at this time of day should, people, should be people coming out but you were saying that this is the bus that Wall you. Section. Hello. Hello. Um, you were... Yeah, they usually have to take this and leave at four. You would usually take this bus at four, and it didn't reach us for an hour and a half, so that's it's quite loud there. I'm on the bus now.
so we is on the bus now. Right back home, we had food, uh, your sushi, and it was awesome as always. Didn't really vlog too much in time because it was too loud. So after your sushi, we downed around, and because I is fat and it is kind, she treated me to a Greg's. <laughs> So I had a little Greg's and now we're just on the bus home and yeah. I'll stop saying and I look like a bit of an Amish person. No offense to the Amish. <laughs> I learned last night why Amish don't have moustaches. It's cool. It's actually a decent enough reason. Because they have beards but not moustaches. The reason they don't have moustaches is because they don't want to be associated with war makers and a lot of folk in the 1910s and 20s who went to war and were generals and wore all had mustaches. So that's why they have beards but not tashes. And we are home. It is uber, uber cold outside. Um, just walking from the bus back to the house, which is like a five minute walk. This hand <coughs> became froze off. It was so which is awesome because it's December and that's how it should be. <coughs> but when we got home, our landlord had left us something nice, which is awesome. Left us this bag of gifts with three presents inside. Can't see. There's this one, which I wonder what this is. And there's a box. And right there is another box. So that's now our third Christmas in this house. And he has done that every single year, which is awesome and extremely kind of him. He doesn't need to do it, but he's a decent guy, so we will. The first year we were kind of surprised. Like, who's this one? That's, uh, oh, that's cool. Uh, but it was really too late then for us to get him stuff of his own from us. Last year we got him a gift that he got us. And then this year, same things happened. So we are heading to the supermarket tomorrow to get vegetables for the weekend for Christmas dinners and things. So, Goddamn hot water tap makes weird noises. We will get him something and I will leave it to his workplace on Friday. And that's all sorted. But one at a time, I got this, which I got some two years ago. But bought three, there was like a deal, you got three bags for a tenner. Back then, I was already starting to get into coffee. And me being a tube, didn't realize that these needed to be blended and we couldn't do it at home. So, you getting home and trying to break apart coffee beans with a fucking rolling pin, which was stupid. But needless to say, it was wasted. The bag that we owned was binned and then two sat in the cupboard for about, about a year. Just destroying stuff. <laughs> So we didn't get any last year because we went to Finland. So this year I was determined to get 2016 Christmas blend from Starbucks. It smells fucking delightful. But I also got it blended this year. So I oh, just noticed there's a cobweb up there. Need to clean that out the weekend. But bus home, we're not here. It's quarter to 10. Gonna have some Christmas blend coffee with my little Greg's pasta. And that will be it for Wednesday. On to Thursday. Tomorrow is like a Christmas party thing in work, which I'm really looking forward to. It's a cheese and wine party, because we can't drink alcohol in work, obviously. But can't wait for that. I will see all you lovely people tomorrow.